Islam has a solution to the problems of humankind. Islam has a solution. And Islam, besides speaking good things, don't do adultery, don't do fornication, etc. Islam has a solution to all these problems. If you analyze most of the major religions, they speak good things. Don't rob, don't cheat, etc. Islam says the same. But the difference between Islam and the other religion is that Islam, besides speaking good things, it shows you a way how to achieve that state of goodness. How to achieve that state in which these particular principles, laws can be followed. For example, all the major religions, including the Western world, says that a person should not rob. If you read the Constitution of America and Europe, it says that a citizen should not rob. And if he robs, there are certain remedies given, but it's not showing its colors. Islam too says that you should not rob. But Islam has a solution. It shows you a way how to achieve that state in which people will not rob. Islam has a system of zakat. That is, every rich person who has a saving of more than the nisab level, 85 grams of gold, he should give 2.5% of that saving in charity every lunar year. If every rich person gives zakat, poverty will be eradicated from this world. There will not be a single human being who will die of hunger. And after this, the Quran says, in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 38, After the thief, be it a man or a woman, chop off his or her hand as a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The non-Muslims say, the Westerners, chopping off the hands in this age of science and technology, Islam is a barbaric religion. It's a ruthless law. And they think that if you go to Saudi Arabia where this law is practiced, every second person you come across will have his hands chopped off. I've been to Saudi Arabia several times. I have not come across a single man whose hands have been chopped off. Surely there will be few people who have got this punishment, but it's not as common as they think it will be. And they say, if a person, if he robs and his hands are chopped off, what about his family, what about his children, etc.? It's a ruthless law. I say Islam takes care of that. Person has problem, the Islamic State looks after the affairs of the family. But the question is, how many people's hands have been chopped off? The law is so strict that no one dares to rob. It is so strict. So where is the question of implementing the punishment? The crime doesn't take place, so where is the question of implementing the punishment? Today, America, which happens to be one of the most advanced countries in the world, do you know, it also has one of the highest rate of crime, theft, robbery. I am asking a question. If you implement the Islamic Sharia in states, every rich person gives zakat. And after that, if any man or woman robs, chop off his or her hand as a punishment. I am asking a question. Will the rate of robbery, crime, theft in America, will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? What will happen? Will it increase? Will it remain the same or will it decrease? It will decrease. It's a practical law. You implement the Sharia and you get results. That is the reason I say that Islam, besides speaking good things, it shows you a way how to achieve the state of goodness. And this is the reason why many Westerners today are coming to Islam.